Hey guys, so welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about how I prepare for the new semester. So I'm going to give you guys 7 tips on how I prepare them. I have a thousand down here on my panel, so let's get started. So the first and the most important tip I have for you guys is to print out your timetable. So my university just gives us a timetable for all of our groups. For example, from group 1 to group 14. And I will just highlight my group. For example, my group is number 9, so I'll just highlight number 9. And I will stick this on my wall so that I know which classes I have and where I have them. It's very convenient instead of just you know i have to figure out which group i am and which class i have to take and i have to open a calendar if i just have it on my wall it's much more convenient like that but if you guys don't have a calendar and you don't get it like this you can just write it out on a piece of paper and just stick it on your wall and write the time frame from which hour to which hour the class is because it's very convenient when you know when exactly your class is. The second tip I have for you guys is to get your physical space ready. For me it's my desk, my desk area over here. I will be renewing it a little bit. I renew it every semester to give it just a fresh start after the exam season. I come back and you know I don't feel that motivated to study again so I will just take down all my small posters and rearrange them and print some more I'll buy some real accessories for my desk so let's get started with getting my physical space ready so because my semester is a winter semester I will have to go with the autumn theme so I just have these small things printed out and I also decided to print out something medicine related so I also have some more stuff from my table. I bought these candles, they're pumpkin shaped. And I also bought an extra shelf for my desk. I'll show you that in a minute. So let's rearrange my desk. So I ordered this shelf of Sheen. Let's unbox it and see what's inside. This shelf is going to go here. I'm just going to use these two plugs on here. I think I'm supposed to put it here and then stick it in place. Here's my 14 candles, which will be using in my videos. So the third tip I have for you guys is to organize all of your courses. I have two methods of organizing my courses. First is in this file. So any printed material that I get or I print out, I put it in this file. For fifth year, I have it organized in color coordinated folders here. And I have also printed out all of my synopsis on every topic that I need to do over here. And I also have a separate filing system on my laptop, which I can show you guys in a little bit. And I separate my course into several subjects. And in each subject, I will put all the lectures that I get and all the notes and everything that I get from my professors and that I can download on our uni's website. So here is my 5th year folder, in it is divided into 2 semesters, 9th and 10th, this is my 10th semester. So as you guys can see, it's divided into several subjects, so clinical pharma, epidemiology, forensic medicine, etc, etc. 
and each subject is going to be divided into lectures and practical exercises over here i'll put them all after i receive the material and yeah as you guys can see everything is empty for now but during the semester i'm going to add more and more stuff into it so that the exam session i don't have to find it so the fourth step is to print out all of your course material any notes that you have and also get your books i get my books personally from the library my uni library has an online section and also an in-person section i will go on monday and get all of my books that are required for my course but i do have one book here with me right now which is the book for internal disease and i have three internal disease subjects this semester which is gastroenterology hematology and nephrology and it's one exam but it's divided into three parts which is the nephrology hematology and gastroenterology so tip number five that i have for you guys is to write down all the important assignments and tests that you have coming up in the semester so for me personally, I like to add them in my planner. This is my new planner for the semester. And I will add all of my upcoming assignments and any tests that I have. Mostly I have tests. I do not get assignments because I am in fifth year in medical school. But any of the tests that I have, I will add here. Most of my tests personally uh, occur in November during the seventh week of my semester. So I will be adding all of them here so that you have all of them in one place and you can keep track of them and so that you don't you know open it one day before the test and you're like oh i didn't know that there was a test so tip number six that i have for you guys is the one which i lack in the most but it is to restock your supplies so all the stationery all the like the notebooks that you need any pens and paper that you need i would really advise you guys to restock it before the semester starts before your school year starts because during the school year then you will end up buying stuff that you don't need because sometimes I don't have a pen and I will go and buy myself a pen. It turns out that I had some pens lying around in my cupboard. So I do recommend for you guys to keep track of all the supplies that you have and the supplies that you don't have. And the seventh and the last tip that I have for you guys is to review your past materials, especially if you are in medical school or if you are in a specialty that requires you to retain all the knowledge, I do highly recommend for you guys to reread all of your past material. This will help you in the next semester or the upcoming school year because in medicine, especially, everything is very connected. So if you don't remember what you read last semester or last year, you do need to go over it once again before you go into the next semester. So those are all the tips that I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Please leave a comment down below on what tips you have if you would like to share it with my audience. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.